Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I don't know why I put on that voice for it, but it is daily challenge time. Oh, uh, there's a little bit of a spoiler. I wish I had thought of that before I started recording this. Oh well. It's not, it can't be more than a few days out at least. And you knew it had to happen at some point. It's a Lilith run. Europa's got a score that goes to 27,000 today going to Mom's Heart. That doesn't seem very seamful, if you know what I mean. Like, that doesn't seem like there's teleports there. It doesn't seem like there's anything uh, too particularly fancy. Yesterday's daily, everybody on my friends list that played it did pretty well. I'm happy with that. Um, you see, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want Mathis to fail. I just want him to be slightly worse than me. And to Luke, if possible. I mean, I do like it more. Um, okay, so 154th place, 27,504 as Lilith. I have seen some scuttlebutt about today's daily. I'm doing it a little later in the day than I normally do. So, you know, the standard tweets that I get have already uh, arrived in advance of me doing the daily for once. I heard it kind of sucks for a while. And also, there's no keys. Wow, hilarious. Um, no, we're much better off with, uh, with Box of Friends than with Friendly Ball, I think. Um... Yeah, I hear that there's like no keys on this run, uh, which isn't really that much of an advantage to know about. It just means that in advance I'm going to be aware that, you know, we may have to skip a couple item rooms. But I also heard that uh, if you can make it to... There's a freaking key. If we make it to Boss Rush, there's some half-decent items on it. And I, I already prioritized getting my ass to Boss Rush as soon as possible anyway. So, But uh, like whenever I saw a tweet about it, it was always like, I made it to Boss Rush at 1959, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59. And I'm like, okay, so... It's going to be one of those dailies where it's it's not going to be a guarantee. It's going to be fairly difficult. So we'll see. Uh, dailies have gone really well so far. It's been... Um, it's kind of a weird way to uh, conceive of this. But right now on Greedbutt, I'm like rank... or I'm, I'm consistently in the top... By, by overall rankings, I'm like the top 6% of players. We haven't had a score that was worse than the top 6%. Since uh, the end of January, and that's at least as far back as I can see on Greed, but, you know, without having to click the second page or something like that, ain't nobody got time for that. So, uh, we've been we've been improving our, our overall standing pretty well. I think we've been ranking, you know, within the top 1 or 2%, uh, like half the time at the very least. So, uh, we, we've kind of been killing it lately. I'm hoping that we can keep that track record up. Uh, I've been playing a lot better from, like, a damage perspective. Uh, damage penalty perspective. I'm going to save my key for the item room on the next floor rather than buying a bomb or a... Uh, spirit heart in there. Okay, Maggie's Faith, great trinket, by the way. Especially if we're, uh... Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that Lilith runs can go off the rails pretty easily. The rails get a little bit harder to go off, uh, if we have more HP. It basically just gives us more tolerance before we, we reach what I would call, like, a failure state. Evil Eye... I, I invented that term, by the way, failure state. And the failure state is Delaware. Sorry, Delaware, you're gonna be the punching bag today. I had to pick a state to make the joke work, don't be mad. There might be one to one and a half uh, Delawareans watching this right now. Yo, meet me in Dover if you want an ass kicking. I'm I'm probably not gonna kick your ass, even if we did fight. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm not really a lover or a fighter, I just kind of exist. A sitter? Is that not like a babysitter, but someone who likes to sit? Not on, like, a board of directors, just from, like, a, you know, a, I'm a lounger. There we go. I'm a lounger, baby. I just want you to know. Mom's underwear. And the Krampus fight. Okay. Well, you can certainly see that it's not, uh, an incredibly... It's not an incredibly strong start from a, uh, you know, kick-ass immediately perspective. I'm not really salty about that damage there. Um, I'm surprised... We actually uh, have not taken more, but I'm also surprised that he was not able to extinguish the fire until that exact moment. If possible, I would really rather not use Ball of Bandages to accomplish this kill, but it's... That's looking like the most likely outcome. God, this guy's an asshole to hit with Incubus, man. One more, probably. Not just Incubus, but let's talk about the freaking... Uh, Holes in the middle he's hiding behind here. Holy shit, we made it. We got Krampus' head out of it. No, thank you, sir. As Lilith, I really, I do feel the commitment to the box of friends. Let's keep this uh, demon heart alive. We're making good time, but we haven't really improved ourselves very much at all. So, you know, that, that time can start to fall by the wayside pretty quickly. So this one's not getting anywhere right off the bat. I'll do boss trap if we get uh, a key here. We did not get a key, so I there's no means for me to do boss trap. We will instead... Move along. Uh, the good news is, 
Every floor that we don't get an HP upgrade, we're still getting one HP from Maggie's Faith, as long as we can protect it. Uh, we'll have to go to that curse room for sure. Okay, well. Do I love it? I don't know. It's not necessarily horrible. If we can get a, an HP upgrade here, even if it is lard, I'd probably take it again. Just kind of raise that tolerance for uh, how long we can survive before we pick up something that really seals the deal for us. Okay, another spirit heart is really good. I'm going to play it safer than I normally do because I have that kind of like secondhand knowledge that this run apparently uh, maybe stays difficult for a while or stays slow. I'm going to try to finesse this so we uh, don't go to our curse room until after we see if we get a deal with the devil on this floor. We, we may or may... <clears throat> pardon me, we may or may not. We probably don't have an amazing chance at it. Uh, considering that, uh, you know, you only have a 25% chance at best and then maybe, you know, whatever modifiers you can get for blowing up a judgment or something. Uh, but... I think we gotta at least give it the old college try. There's never a day that goes by that I'm not, like, really thankful I've been a fucking idiot when it comes to uh, using Cube of Meat. Like, because I've used Cube of Meat aggressively for so long, this is just, like, second nature, man. This is just, like, the cat got your tongue challenge, but it's like, oh, I, instead of having Guppy's hairball, I actually have a Cube of Meat? What a great day to be me. Probably should have popped that a little earlier. Uh, and, you know, Box of Friends, it, it, it's nice to have a Cube of Meat with Box of Friends, especially if your run sucks. At least you get, like, a familiar that, that can still shoot at enemies. There's, there's value there. But Lilith, I, I've already uh, expressed my concerns with Lilith. I think it takes a little bit of finesse to get a really, really great run going with it. Actually, might be an interesting idea if we find an arcade to try to play it and maybe get something out of Cane Being Conception. It pays out with some really good items. You know, getting a Dark Bomb wouldn't be that incredible uh, if our HP stays as, like, our, our non-limiting reagent here. Uh, shoot the... Shoot the things in the middle here. Um, but getting a, uh, a little brimstone or something like that could pretty much change the run for us. Okay, this is it's going just fine. Don't use ball of bandages to kill the silkworms, even though it takes eight shots or something silly like this. We're much better off waiting. Killing them this way so we don't lose any HP in a stupid way, which I almost did right there, but that's okay. Here we are. Pestilence. Uh, tiny room pestilence is a clusterfuck, but I'm the world's luckiest man, because even though I didn't keep a, a charge of Box of Friends ready, I'm not fighting the regular version of Pestilence. This is the, the version... Oh, that was dumb. Uh, it's the version of Pestilence that is actually, like, probably by far the easiest to not get shit on by, especially on a Tiny Room. Like, Tiny Room, when he creates that fucking creep and then shoots... Uh, Bombs at you. That's the end of your life. You, Unless you have, like, at least one and a half hits in you uh, to survive, you're going down. So, we're lucky that we're not in that position and we don't we don't have to sweat it too much. We'll get a second level cube of meat, which will make ball of bandages... Uh, well, second level ball of bandages, I should say. Which will make ball of bandages actually pretty good. Uh, because it'll become a third level now whenever I hit the button. We want to be out of here by ten minutes. I wouldn't mind fudging it. Only I didn't say fudge. No, that time I did say fudge. I wouldn't mind fudging our time a little bit just to give us a better chance of getting to boss rush. That's probably going to be like the first... Well, I, you know what? I bet a lot of people died on Krampus. But um, apart from Krampus, I feel like boss rush might be like the first kind of great uh, purging of scores here. Like that, that'll that be where like, you know, 20% of people make it and the other 80% didn't quite make it in time and, and as a result fall off. So uh, with three bombs, we should look for our secret room. There is an off chance. Then maybe we can find a, uh, a key inside of there, or a hermit card that allows us to teleport to the shop, where we can buy a key and then go to our item room. Who knows what that uh, entails for us. This is pretty good. Oh, thanks, Incubus. Well, it still worked, but you know what, Incubus? Fuck off anyway. So we get a luck upgrade from here. We got uh, more bombs than we bargained for. I already fought that boss. Got to be approaching a dead end up here. But look for a second secret room as well, because who knows? Maybe we'll get our third eternal heart on this floor, and as a result, we'll actually be able to... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> as a result, maybe we'll be able to uh, actually, you know, do something uh, do something good HP-wise. Maybe we could afford to play a Blood Bank on our next floor and try to pick up a little Brim or a Dark Bomb or I don't even know. Can you get a Succubus? I would, I would be welcoming of that option as well. Right, we can't go to our item room. So much money. 
So much money and nothing to spend it on. Yeah, we don't really care about that. Okay, second secret room. In all likely... Well, sorry, curse room first. I'm not too pissed, but it's certainly not exactly what I was looking for. Like I said, I prepared myself for the idea that we wouldn't have any... Uh, or many keys on this run. We don't have to fight these guys, we could just leave. So you don't want to see you in hell. Hmm. There's that key, but there's that we can you bomb the poop to get to the key? I thought the jury was out on this. Well, there's no no, it's on diagonals anyway, so there's no way we could. So five bombs, second secret room. Could be here. I'm glad there's only one location that's available for it in this side. Sure. We found it, at least we can, uh, you know, feel happy about the exploration bonus. But apart from that, that's our first item room missed. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's too much we could have done about that. Unless there was like a three cent fanny pack on the first floor. Allow me to take a sip of this coffee. Still far too hot. Alright, we are, we're competing here. Not an easy run, but in a way, you know, on a daily, a non-easy run is actually kind of an easy run, you know? In the, in the sense that... If, if everybody's run sucks, your run doesn't necessarily suck. It might be doing great relative to other people. Like, we're, we're down here ahead of the split on a run that we know was going to be tight for time. So I am uh, I'm contented right now. We'll go back for that pill. I think uh, we should take pills on this run because you never know. It could be bombs or key. Bombs or key can make a difference. But we're not going to go back for that pill immediately. I also should probably start thinking about using uh, Box of Friends a little bit more often. Using it not very prodigiously right here, just because I never know when the, you know, when the boss fight's going to be around the corner, when the deal with the devil uh, potential Krampus is going to show up. Well, I guess I already fought Krampus, so we know that one. But my, my boilerplate commentary has fer uh, ferried me, failed me yet again. Holy sh... I almost swore and then was like, you can't swear on this show. Um, we, got, uh, we got a key. Do we use that to go to our shop? It's a, it's a bit of a risk. The conventional wisdom is probably go to the shop and then maybe you can buy a key. Plus we have enough money uh, to buy an item and a key if there's a key for sale. But if there's no key for sale, then it could be a, a poor decision. But luckily we don't have to decide right now. So I think that this is actually like... Oh, nice. I think this is actually a pretty big boss fight for us. Third level bandage girl's going nuts. I love it. We're already done. We didn't uh, lose our black heart. And we got an angel statue and pageant boy. Remarkable. Um, our angel room gives us immaculate conception. I'm not going to fight the angel statues. I just don't see any value in it right now. We're not going to be able to fight Mega Satan anyway. Now with 34 cents, um, we're going to go to our shop. I think it's not like 23 to 34 cents doesn't make much of a difference. But I'm like, ah, we got it. There's a chance that this might work out. So let's take it. It's greed. He's greed, he's greed. What's with the hair? Dun, 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 dun. He's greed, he's greed, he's greed. It isn't there. Okay, well that I don't want to lose our HP, but if 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 it happens, it happens, you know. We gotta at least try to explore some of the rest of this floor. Oh my god, the money, man. Um What was I gonna say? Uh you might be saying Northern Lines a lot of references to the president's uh, United the President's of the United States of America's Magnum Opus lump in the past few days. You've been listening to it? Not not at all, just popped in my head for some reason. That's the funniest damage I've ever taken from paralysis. Popped the paralysis pill, didn't realize there was a troll bomb on that room. The troll bomb then hits me as a result of paralysis. What a what a time to be alive. I'm guessing probably there is no uh, key available for us on this floor at this point, and that is that's a little suboptimal. Having lost our uh, Eternal Heart already, I'm not honestly that bent out of shape about it. I, I don't think it really matters all that much. 3 HP, 2 HP, it's all the same to me. He says, uh, until he dies. So we made it through that room just fine. We know that this will be... Ah, normally this is our secret room, but this doesn't seem like a great location for it. Alright, I'm, I'm glad I chose to continue to believe. Still a minute ahead of schedule for boss rush. Be an arcade. Oh, it's a cursed room. It's a little risky, but we gotta try. Ooh, a guppy item. And an item that could bring us back to life if we die. So, uh, there, there's a couple of different things. I'm very pro on this run. I'm not pro, but I'm very pro guppy's collar existing. 
We're gonna be right on time for boss rush, but we continue to go through these floors without really getting any stronger. Immaculate Conception is like Cambian Conception, but it gives you familiars instead of demons, is that correct? Something along those lines. Let's be smart here, not die on this floor. We have one bomb left uh, to try to find a second secret room. I think that it's possibly here. And it is indeed. We go inside. Ooh, this is actually very tempting. And we get Crystal Ball, which gave us a rune. The rune is the gauze. It did what a roller coaster, because I was like, Crystal Ball I can't take, but at least it gives us a spirit heart, usually. Didn't give us a spirit heart, instead gave us a rune. Oh, I don't know, maybe that could be good. And then it turns out the rune is a spirit heart. So, uh, sure, on the depths one, we'll walk into this room, and then we'll pop our Degas rune. And now we have no curse. We had no curse to begin with, but now we, like, definitely have no curse. I like the way you're cursing. No curse. About to back it up. Well, this time, partially because it's right here, we're going to go to our item room before our shop. We got attack fly. Oh, dude, this is huge. The attack fly is the essence of everything we love about this run right now. The ability to have damage ooh, that is absent uh, being related to our shitty tears right now. So I'm, I'm very happy with this situation. I, there's no reason for me not to shoot. The reason I don't shoot as much when I'm using like orbitals to deal damage, just because it, it takes up a little bit of brain power, you know? It takes up a little bit of brain kilobyte VRAM nonsense. So I, I try to just focus 100% uh, on the... On the familiar damage, but it's a bad habit. If I could just get in the habit of, you know, having my subconscious just, you know, throw out a, a key input at any given time, that would speed things up slightly. Speaking of which, I'm going to try to speed this floor up a little bit. Uh, if we if we whiff on a little bit of exploration bonus here, I'm not going to sweat it at all. I, I need to get to boss rush, 100%. And take the last train to boss rush, it will meet you at 1959. Not the year, but rather I was referring to the time. Don't be late. Oh, do, do, do. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's converting people over to our side easily. Ah! Well, I'm glad the shop's here. We should have a pretty good chance to buy another spirit heart to protect our deal with the devil interests, and secondarily, also our chances of uh, keeping this eternal heart alive. Yo, though. Probably should have popped a box of friends there. A little bit overly conservative from me. Yeah, we'll take this. Uh, you know what? Let's buy the key. Better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. Okay. Boss room. Not a boss room, but an easy room. How about this one? Also not a boss room. And not a particularly easy room as compared to the last one. I'm liking this concentric orbitals thing though. I think we got a lot you got a lot of positives going there. This time we'll stay at range. I have faith that, you know, these deals with the angel are gonna give us I don't think it's gonna give us Godhead, but maybe like dead dove or something, like a pretty good item. Not a secret room. Probably. I'm not sure if I placed it close enough to hit it, but tried to get, you know, all of the potential advantages there. Uh it's a little bit of a Tricky dicky dodge. And we're going to be out of here like 17 minutes, so we're actually going to be a little slower than I'd like to be. Um, this cage fight is totally fucked, but the fact that we have a third level bandage girl to handle it is uh, extremely nice. Okay, and then just get in there with those freaking flies, man. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ooh, it did not hurt. Okay. I'm not trying to sandbag. It's just really tough to dodge that gate shot. Okay, growth hormones is really good. We'll head down to the next floor. I can't believe we haven't came being conceptioned anything into existence yet. I guess we've only been hit like four or five times. Oh, we have to. I'm very sorry uh, to our eternal... Oh, my... <sighs> if there was a blood bank in there, man. If there was a blood bank in there. We could have gotten uh, something out of came being conception at the cost of one HP. It's basically like an expedited deal with the devil. But um, I would have been all over it, man. Even if it would have taken us a little extra time. Plus we get that sweet swag bonus as well. Um, probably should go to this curse room, but I'm going to save it. It's going to be a secondary thing. Do some orbital damage. I'm flipping a little bit here. I'm, I'm flipping out. 
Okay, there's not going to be a secret room adjacent to that. Tomo, I'll let you in in a second here, buddy. How's it going, man? You want to come in? Whoa, he came in like a shot. All right. Two and a half minutes. Don't even stress out about this one, Tony. We're going to make it. It's not even going to be hard. It's going to be like the theme song to that girl. We're going to make it after. I haven't ever seen that girl. Or wait, no. Wait, that, that girl is... Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Don't even thought I could be so free. Walking along on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Famously, of course, immortalized in the George Costanza uh, answering machine message. Uh, yay! We're the greatest uh, Isaac players of all time, as as uh, we've known for ages. Yo, 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 though, okay. Oh, there's one more? Don't they teach you manners in wherever you're from? Greed, land of the greed? Good day to you, partner. I'm greed. I can already tell I'll be the best friend in this godforsaken camp. We're, we're so tight on time. We're great for, um, for the mom fight. Oh, yeah, car battery. Heck, yeah. Two of clubs. Sure, why not? Fuck the item room. Take me to my boss room. Is this another... Oh, I almost walked in that. Is this another cat at my door? No, that's, that's nothing at all. Come on, what was that, buddy? Well, we have to check our item room because it's on the way. I know I said fuck the item room a second ago. I immediately regret that decision. Nope. No! Oh, I want it, but I put the bomb down, so I have to I have to say no. No. No, 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 no. Not yet. Yes, Daddy Long Legs. This is a big one. As of this point, officially all rooms can go fuck themselves. If they're Oh, we're gonna make it! After a home. We could still get a deal with the angel. Possibly a deal with the devil as well. Okay, crack into that double daddy long legs. Get in there. My double DDLs. Wait, I have a third incubus. Oh, car battery. Yes, car battery. Yeah, I did. That's not red heart damage, though. It was eternal heart damage. Take the Polaroid. Yes. Grab this. Okay, boss rush as Lilith is acceptably easy. Oh, lusty blood. Not even like a contest here. That's the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. Uh, we're gonna have so many daddy long legs, it's gonna look like a fucking foot fetish website. I, you know, I'm not trying to kink shame. I'm just saying I imagine, that was the first thing that came to mind when I thought of, of a piece of media that would contain a lot of feet. Am I, am I wrong? Oh, we must have came to conception in a little brimstone here. Come to think about it, daddy's long legs would be a, would be a great name for a... For a pornographic website, just just try it out, or you know, for a website of like spider enthusiasts. Okay, so here comes the sweet sweet gravy. Um, fourth level bandage girl, if you can get in there and like deal some damage, that would be nice. So we we do have something on our plate on this uh, on this boss rush, and that something is: do not under any circumstances take enough damage that you die, or you, you oh died. To a red poop would be the worst of all experiences available. Don't do that. Okay, we're this is always how it goes. Like stretches of good play falls apart towards the back end of the run. It's not necessary. It doesn't necessarily need to fall apart towards the back end of the run. We've got a great thing going here. Look at all these little brims we got. Look at all these red hearts that I hope will show up. Maybe we should have taken little little Chad instead of uh instead of uh. Daddy long legs? I don't know. It's not the conventional wisdom. Uh, I think fourth level bandage girl got a little taste there. Speaking of which, we are about to have a second fourth level bandage girl. I know that maybe is a little confusing, understandably so. Are we going to be able to make the hush fight? It it's irrelevant because uh, the hush fight does not exist on this run. I think we've set ourselves up to have another top like two. Well, let's, let's just be conservative and say top 5% run. I'm not, again, not trying to sandbag. It just, I, don't, I don't know what, what else awaits us on this run. There could be a lot of uh, amazing stuff, or there could be a lot of really, really shitty stuff that I can't possibly foresee. So, we'll, we'll find out as time goes on. Certainly, I am loving uh, the ridiculous synergy of having, like, all of this damage, and then also 
Lusty Blood making it even better with every single wave. I'm not actually going to use my next charge. I think we're just going to hang out um, because we're already killing things to the point where I'm like, what, is it going to save us like one second if we pop it? We might as well instead save a uh, save a charge to have immediately ready for the next floor if we decide that that's like a, a prudent course of action for us. All right, he didn't get me with that, which is nice. And we're done. We got the magnet, which is basically complete shit, but oh well, it's no big deal. Uh, down to the next floor. 22 minutes. We're gunning for 27,000. I think it's very doable, actually. We'll see. I probably uh, will not... Uh, well, thank God we saved a charge, right? <laughs> so we can not use it on this room. Um, but... Uh, Probably not going to try for, like, maximum exploration bonus. Oh, yeah, that was dumb. Uh, instead, maybe we'll have a small chance. Oh, they don't have to be insteads. They're not mutually exclusive. But we may have a chance to pick up uh, enough HP to do a self-sacrifice room or maybe a little wishful thinking there. But, you know, something along those lines. If we could chain, you know, our first seam together... In, oh, that was so close to damage. Into a uh, a self-sacrifice room. Into who knows what. Then I, I'd be thrilled about how this is going right now. I think I sh probably should be regardless. I, I should at least, if not be thrilled, be thankful. It's fine. Let Daddy Longlegs finish the job. Swag bonus is looking okay. I mean, we don't have anything that really like blows this run wide open. But, you know, we're, we're doing fine here. Ah, oh, <laughs> if there's one thing I'm regretful for on this run, I have taken a lot of damage that cost me HP. We could be at 7 HP right now. I suppose all things considered, that's not that big of a whiff, you know. We're still doing pretty well. And we did get a deal with the devil there, which is kind of amazing to me, with Squeezy. And our deal with the devil contains another guppy item. And the mark. I think we have to take both, even though it's unlikely we make it through... Um, Make it to the point where we get a guppy transformation? Why not take both? It's possible, I guess. Okay, well, it's kind of tempting to play that. This floor is going to be the floor where we're going to look uh, very, very closely for a self-sacrifice room. If possible, like getting a rune out of something. I don't know. Apparently crack... The, the seam on yesterday's daily was like IV bags, so I saw that coming a mile away. But then also cracked dice, allowing you to use IV bag to pick up a rune bag. Then you get an AWAS rune and you just ball out of control. Uh, yeah, well, no, no reason not to take cancer at this point. Um, I am actually still, like, a little impressed with my run. That I was able to rank pretty well in spite of the fact that uh, I didn't find that. Like, we were only a few thousand points away from, away from Europa on that one. And uh, I'm, I'm relatively happy about that, and I'm happy that we came fairly close to finding what is a little bit of a ridiculous seam, you know? I just, it didn't dawn on me that cracked ice could have been the, the key there. Bad trip. is unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure if that affects our damage penalty. I feel like it shouldn't, maybe, but maybe I'm getting a little too inside baseball with, like, you know, what probably has an imp uh, implication of, like, less than 500 points on your average daily, but... How are we supposed to know, man? So are we shooting for 27,000? I don't know. Now, now that I look at it, I, I may have been a little overly optimistic. It might be a little close. Tend to get two or 3,000 points when the run ends, depending on exploration bonus, damage penalty, etc., etc. Um, now, if this is a five room, that would be dope from an exploration bonus standpoint. I'm thinking that probably... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, probably after we finish like the relevant hard shit on this floor... We should go play the blood bank and then do the mob trap room. Oh, man. I don't. May, after we finish our shit, I'll do that, okay? Because you never know. You never know. Is That's all I'm trying to say. Is, am I wrong? You never know. Okay, we got our fourth level bandage girl in there. I don't know what I got hit by. I got hit by a tear or a laser beam. Give me a shovel. Give me a, give me a deal with the devil and a shovel here. Can of corn and I'll be okay. No deal with the devil, no shovel. That's fine. So my thinking is a full run reroll. 
gives us a chance. And actually, there's a little bit of a deeper play here. Um, the six rerolls all consumables on the ground as well. So open this up, and if you don't need what's there, leave it. Leave pennies, leave everything. You could reroll it into potentially like an Awaz rune or a golden chest that could contain an Awaz rune later or something like that. I mean, it's, I know it's pretty low percentage at this point, but... Is also like pretty funny. Oh, oh, <laughs> we we made it. Um, secret room, I believe so. Secret room contains greed. Have to admit, I'm a little scared. I guess we shouldn't take that either. I'm a little scared of playing our blood bank. There isn't a blood bank. Okay, well you know what. I slept in the what is what does sleeping in the bed do in that situation? No spirit arts, I assume. Oh, it just give us full HP. Okay, leave that shit behind. So we're gonna hit ourselves once. And we're doing this so we can get into this room. We may die in the process. I suppose we could have just used temperance. There's a spirit heart, which I'm gonna take. And I take I took the spirit heart knowing full well that it's statistically the wrong decision, but I also don't wanna die on this room and miss out on my potential damage bonus. Or miss out on my potential bonuses from the end. By the way, definitely should have used the Temperance card. Because then that wouldn't have afflicted me with a damage penalty. But um, relatively minor, I hope. So we're back to 23k. Uh, I don't think we're going to be at 27. So I was a little bit uh, optimistic there. And that's okay. You know, we, we, we're trying to trying to break the mold a little bit here. So let's go do this and see if we reroll anything useful. I mean, it's a great reroll, actually. Um, despite our speed stat, uh, speed stat kind of sucking here, we also picked up uh, Tech X, which is, of course, amazing. This gave us Fate, which is lovely. And then we'll pick up all this stuff. You know when I saw that golden chest, I was thinking maybe it's Rune Bag. We got Broken Remote, which we don't have a spacebar item anymore, so we can't really use. Uh, Samson's Chain, okay. Don't let anybody tell you I don't at least try on these, you know? Got a tears upgrade. Couple of bombs. Getting the swag bonus back up. We actually should... Actually, there's no red hearts. But we should play his temperance card pretty much until death, basically. Um, so just pop that. Get a little low. We still got the Polaroid. Play it a few times. Grab this. Grab all this. Now go play this. We got like fanny pack or something? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Play it one more time. Uh, we didn't have to blow it up there, I suppose. Okay, then just go pick this up. It gave us an extra 300 points or something silly like that. I felt like it was worth a shot, and now we're out. Uh, I think we can be pretty pleased with this run. But there were there were other ways, I suppose. There were, there were maybe like a couple little seams, not full-fledged seams, just little baby seams that we could have pulled on to try to finagle a little bit of a more successful run here. You know, a few extra 100 points here, a few extra 100 points here, but I think overall we can be real, uh, relatively pleased that today's daily was uh, was competitive, you know? We, we're gonna be up there. We didn't fuck it up, and the daily sort of sucked. Uh, there, were, there were a couple of opportunities um, where we, we possibly could have died. And we didn't get what I wanted out of these. But again, you know, an extra 50 points is nothing to sneeze at, I guess. And another penny. Sweet, let's finish. We're going to be at 26,605, 213th on the leaderboards right now. Nothing wrong with it, you know. It's, it's a pretty good score, but I'm a little disappointed, I guess. Just maybe took too much damage in the process. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.